I put that link in the descriptive section for you to be able to do that and be on the lookout. I'm gonna have some more links in my description section that will be of substantial benefit to my viewers. Just be on the lookout for it. Now I'm gonna get started. Now, as I said before, this is for those who are tired of getting ran over. Like how the late Teddy Pentagraph said in TKO, tired of getting beat up by love. But see, the thing is that love really is an illusion. It's a fantasy. It's not real. Really, love is a dream. And in order for you to dream, you gotta be asleep. And that's the sales pitch that most black women and black females in America paint in their brother's mind by doing dirty things like that that I mentioned earlier. A black woman and a black female in America will text 10 different guys by saying I'm bored. And the first one that text back with what she wants is who she will be with for that day. Now that one is with her, he's a happy man because black women and black females in America are fantastic actresses. When their options are satisfying enough for them to display those deceitful characteristics. Now I'm sorry to say, but if you text her back and she doesn't respond, you know that's because she already got a plan for that day. And those of you that have been victimized by that, we all have at some point in time. You know, you, you really don't have to do or say anything to be brutalized by a black woman in America in this matter or black female in America by this matter. But thanks to the internet, you can type in those kind of situations. And there's always a link or links that is there to help you lessen the pain in the future. Because she is going to crash and burn. She already is. But due to their denial of ignoring Agenda 21, the robots and automation taking over the jobs that most black women in America and most black females in America over here in the Midwest occupy greatly, that is being taken away from her. She simply refused to take her degree that she worked very hard for and to start her own business. See, most black women in America and black females in America don't like to hear me say this. But I'm going to say this because it needs to be told. And that is, <coughs> most of them, I'm not going to sit back and say that she doesn't know how to start her own business and be a success at it. No, she knows how to do that. She does. And she would be very successful at it. But here's the thing. That means that she would have to stop being skanky. That means that she would have to be straight and nice and sweet and trustworthy towards human beings. And that's something most of them are not willing to do. So she would rather keep her job and get, because the cost of living is going to keep going up. So she would just rather get a, a, another job their sixth job, seventh job, eighth job, ninth job, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Different jobs, part-time jobs, than to start her own business because she would have to stop being skanky and evil. 
And this is something that most black women in America have taught their daughters and most black females in America have taught their chicken head daughters to do towards undeserving and unearned innocent black males and black men to keep the shit going. Okay. Um, but thanks to Agenda 21. See, Agenda 21 is uh, something altogether new that all I can say is those who ignore it, you're going to be the, the loser. And it's not going to be a good thing. And this is where black females that is taking a beautiful tool such as the internet and typing maybe 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 guys because most of them have a cash app on there or PayPal or uh, was that Apple Pay? Ganking innocent black males and black men. She has no intentions on sharing her good side with any of them. And this is why MGTOW is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. She's still going to lose because deep down inside, she don't want to admit this or face it, but she's going to get old one day. But she pop her bra and her titty stand straight out without assisting of a Victoria's Secrets bra. Or stomach is flat. No blemish. No wrinkles, no cellulite. Ass is like, blow. Pussy is pretty. Still got her period. She still got everything. But when menopause kick in, that phone stops ringing. She's going to hit the wall. You don't believe me? Google some of the, uh, Google a title called They All Hit the Wall. Brilliant YouTube creator on there shows it. Now, who's going to uh, get hurt by ignoring Agenda 21, ignoring automation, ignoring MGTOW, or ignoring that men just don't want to have shit to do with black females and black women no more in America? The black women and the black females in America. Because they think they know everything. Even in the face of truth, they still want to give this false air fronting, as they would say back in the day, Everything is just peachy keen, and that's not true. So you can run black woman in America, you can run black female in America, but thanks to Agenda 21 and automation and big time, and men just not having nothing to want to do with your asses no more, you can't hide today. Okay? Because your pussy can't keep up with the cost of living. Your pussy cannot successfully battle against Agenda 21. You already made it clear that you've permanently forsaked your women duties to be a helper to a man and not a destroyer. By doing things like that with the telephone. But again, your days are numbered. Because most men have gotten content with being single. You have a peace of mind, pocket full of money, you know, it's like, hey, I rather have women friends. I'm not interested in being committed to one woman. Thanks to the internet, we can see through all of it that most women ain't nothing but a hollow shell when it comes to trust, when it comes to commitment, okay, when it comes to keeping their word. Most of them jump shit. They're not, even, they're not even there for the same reason why a man is with a woman. She has her own mind. And oh boy, they show it. They show it. By texting 10 to 20 to 30 to 100 to 1,000 guys at the same time saying I'm bored. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're just like vultures. And then they get upset saying that men like myself that make these kind of videos is bashing women 
and we hate women. No, we hate your ways. And I'm making these videos because I said to myself, how can I make lives a lot better for males and men? Not just of my nationality, but of all nationalities. I'll make videos after I'm long dead and gone, which I'm sure most black women and black females in America be glad when that day hurry up and get here. My words and my videos will still be being shown to prevent this and weaken it until it's just gone. Because this has to stop. As I said before, to me, a woman was in her most prime successful period when she was a homemaker, when she was given things to do, when the man had authority over the house and there were certain things that she was allowed to do to have rights and he had authority. Because now that women have everything they want, they're more miserable than they ever was in their entire life because it's not meant for a woman to have power and authority. It's meant for her to have rights, but not power and authority. She can't handle it. This shows, even in the presence of the internet, she figured what well, the cost of living keep going up. I got a degree. Now I ain't gonna start my business. I'm gonna go on and get, uh, my 22 job, not a second job, not a third job, not a fourth job. I'm getting my 100 job. So anything, you know, in the articles you can see where you can order and put, put together and assemble stuff and get paid. Yeah. Because she knows that if she has to start her own business, like I said, ain't that she doesn't know how to. Yes, yeah, she do. Yes, yeah, she do. You know who's perfect example to prove that? Oprah Winfrey. And many other ones, but Oprah Winfrey. Enough said. No. Oh. Now you think Oprah got time to text ten different guys to say I'm bored? We all know the answer is no, because Oprah Winfrey viewers, what first come to your mind? Money. And lots of it, because she's a billionaire. And she's black, just like most black women in America and most black females in America. So ain't no excuse. Most black women and most black females in America have chosen to be stinky. So viewers, put your comment in the comment section. Have you experienced things like that? I said, I got a bunch of sisters. So even long before the internet, I saw the way they would work guys. And I was like, that was just cold. Why did you do that to him? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But see, like I said, the internet is here to bite most black women in America and most black females in America in the ass. And it's of their own doing. Because she don't want to stop being skanky. She don't want to stop wearing fake hair, but want to be treated like the lady. She don't want to stop um, wearing tattoos, but she wants to be treated like a lady. She don't want to stop wearing fake eyelashes, but she wants to be treated like a whole lady. She don't want to stop wearing fake uh, breasts, but she wants to be treated like a lady. She don't want to stop with the butt injections, but she wants to be treated like a lady. It doesn't work like that. See, now even Superman had x-ray vision. Well, thanks to the internet, the internet has given every man x-ray vision when it's time to see through your bullshit. But I tell you to stop it and cut it out. I know you ain't going to do that. So I'm going to keep making videos. So that way after I'm dead and gone. Then more generations will begin to know and plan to avoid you all. Where you all are just becoming stink. Don't you go anywhere.